Good evening, good evening everybody. Welcome to my late night stream as I catch up on a Thursday evening. See what sales we got today. Since I was last on this morning, I have a little check on the usual routines. See where we're at with money making. We were over a million just um, yesterday, but then we dropped down to under a million, so we're at 973,000 gold at the moment due to buying a few reagents and chaos crystals and arcana and bits and pieces. So let's see if we can get ourselves back up to the million mark. And ooh, we've got 10,000 in that first lot. Let's clear the expires, see if there's anything else. Interestingly, we've sold three ancient priestesses. They don't usually sell that frequently. So uh, that's quite good. A lot of our foods expired. So those those are uh, our test foods, shall we say. I'm going to leave that just to update. So here's all our food. We've got fighter chow we made a load of. Deep fried mosquil we made a load of. Surama Surf and Turf we made a load of and Bear Tartar we made a load of. So we're just testing out the cooking market at the moment. Um, whilst I'm doing my skills up, I've got... Um, here come the other auctions. Oh, we did have some sales. Let's just clear the outbid items. Um, expires. Cancels probably wouldn't clue that. But let's have a just look through there. So bear tartar, we sold three lots of five and two of twenty, and then we sold a couple of deep fried mosquil. Okay, so some of the food shifting. So that's thirteen thousand. Open that up, and that takes us to nine hundred and eighty-six thousand. But not quite up to our million yet. But that's okay. It's still good stock. Plus we're getting our cooking sorted. So let's first and foremost let's just check our enchants. Cloaks, necks, rings and tones. We'll do a cancel scan on those first. I expect to be undercut on everything. Please, the ancient priestess is sold. Did have excess stock of those. How many have I got left? Um, what's that? Four. I've got four left. I purchased 41 because I've been resetting the market a couple of times on that. Haven't done it in a long time though. The last purchase was 36 days ago, so it's over a month ago because they just don't sell as much. Region sale rate of 0.19. So I'm pleased that I'm just getting rid of some of that stock. Distant armies, another matter. I've still got loads of those. How many of those have I still got? Yeah, I've got six of those still, plus the ones on the auction house. Actually, no, I don't think there are any on the auction house. But it's just those. So, council scan's done. Let's pick up those enchants. Let's check the frame rates all right. A little bit laggy. Hopefully it's okay for the stream. Looks to be okay in my window. Although it is chugging a little bit now. There we are. Luckily I don't do too much moving around other than from Hopping to place to place. So what have we got here next? Let's do a post scan. Hopefully we might get a few sales. It's a bit late in the night to be getting sales, but sometimes at this time of night I've managed to get some, maybe when people finish their raids and they uh, want to upgrade their equipment at the end of an evening. Sometimes I can get a few sales that way. There we go. 
Right, let's have a quick look at shopping whilst we're here. See if we've got any bargains we can snap up. And then we can do some restocks. Ooh, really? Chaos Crystal's right up to 314. That's a big reset. Someone must have reset that market. Ah, there we go. There's the wall. That 400. Stacks of one. Someone's put a mark down there and said, right, that's the line. But even so, actually, usually you put a wall down to make them lower, but that one's actually quite high. Interestingly. But definitely Chaos Crystals are out of action at the moment. I've got 650 available, so I'm not in immediate danger, but that is something to watch out for. I have to adjust prices accordingly. Arcana and Leylight are looking... Let's have a look at Leylight. Yeah, they're all looking okay-ish. The big one I want though is Silk. Let's have a look at Silk. If I can get some for under 5, then that's definitely good for me. No, the Silks are up high as well, all over 6. 6.50 is the lowest. So it looks like prices are shifting higher. Let's see Stonehide by comparison. Yep, that's similar at 6. Although there is a stack there for 94. I imagine I'll get outbid on that. Seeing as it's got 48 hours left, but you never know. Okay, let's just do a quick check of anything else that I might have missed. Fell cloth. There's no fell cloth available. Golden pearls. 99. That's not bad, actually. It's below my normal cost of 129. And they are hard to get hold of, and I do need some golden pearls because I, I sold a mooncloth robe the other day. I'll take those um, ones that were 100 as well. And no me snacks, just in case there are any bargains. No, those prices are way too high. Not going to bother with those. Um, Emmy Stanix, Sorceress Earth. Have got quite a good stock of this. Got 562 left, so I think I've got plenty of stock of that. And Sumptuous Fur, just in case I can find some. Don't think I'll ever find it as cheap as one gold, but always worth it. And well, Jade's another one to look out for. Oh, no, no, no wild jade. Okay. So, let's see what we need to do on a restock front. There's the daily, daily craft of a temporal crystal. And, okay. Let's do enchanting first. Restock selected groups. Ooh, we've got quite a few things here. Time of Illusions... Cataclysm and Azeroth are in there, interestingly. Didn't realise I'd sold any of those. Let me just double check my auctions. Uh, tomes, usually down here somewhere. Tome of Illusions. We've got Azeroth and Cataclysm. And what did you say? Yeah, Azeroth and Cataclysm you are going to restock on, but I've already got one each of those. So that doesn't make sense. Let's just recheck that, because sometimes TSM needs to think about it. There we go, completely different story now. One Binding and Mastery, which also doesn't seem quite enough. Actually, no, that might be right, because the... The main thing I sold was Ancient Priestess, and I've got a good stock of those. Let's take that. And how are the bags and pretty clothes? Hexweave bag, 
you don't have any cloth for at the moment and so let's deselect those interestingly um, pretty clothes hasn't brought up the moon cloth robe I'm sure I sold one maybe it isn't doing a profit at the moment let's look there's the daily cooldown of hex weave so moon cloth robe moon cloth Moon cloth robe. See, it's got a profit of um, 2,700. Moon shroud robe's got a good profit on that, which is quite good. I don't think I've ever made one of those before. Moon shroud. Hmm. Anyway, let's do the moon cloth robe, since I have the ingredients for those. Let's create one, because I know I need to make one. Or if I don't, I'm going to make a second one. Things I've just sold. I have sold one. I remember selling one. There we go. Let's put that on. Functioning. Select all groups and do a post scan. Ah, then our food's going to go on. Wingcloth robe's going to go on. And then the mastery. Okay, pop all of those on. Now let's have a look once we've done this. See how cooking's looking. The restocks. Let's select them all. Restock selected groups. Just the deep fried moss gill that we had uh, sold some of. Let's just stock up on that one. Where are we going to put our fire? Oh yeah, pop it down there. I think I'm standing near it. There we go. It's one of those. Looks like I set fire to the benches on there though. So, deep fried muskill. Posting two auctions of five, and we're done. Okay, so that's just updating the auctions. I'm not doing a cancel scan on everything yet, I'm just doing it on the enchants. I'll leave everything else going because um, then we can start doing our other bits and pieces, our usual routines. Oh, whilst I remember, started doing the daily quests for cooking. Now, Stormwind one, I need to go over here somewhere because there's some cooking trainers down. I believe it's down here. No, that's the dual crafting. I think it's further across over here. Yes, now I remember. I think I've done a quest. I did one this morning, but it looks like I don't have the new a new quest to do here. Um, but let's hop to um, Dalaran and then I can go check on Nomi. And then I'll go to old Dalaran because I believe there's another potential cooking daily quest there. The reason I'm doing those is because I want the epicurial currency of which I have one somewhere probably could do with clearing some of this out um, let's just turn some of these off the epicureans award that's what I want Harrison resources let's take these Ones we don't really need. Sightless eyes. Yeah. There we go. So we've got one. Hey. Ash. Where's that? Ash McGough, I think. What's the benefits of the cooking dailies? Is to get the. to get this um, currency. Uh, thanks for stopping by, by the way. 
So what I'm going to do there is I need, I think, 100 of these, and then I can get the chef's hat, which will allow me to do cooking a lot, lot faster, um, especially when it comes to making feasts. So that's on my list. I didn't do the Wrath of the Lich King time walking dungeons, which would have got me some extra ones. Oh, what did we pick up? You got picked up some Nomi snacks. So let's eat those and get some orders going. I could sell that. I mean, 1,300 is some good money, but I'm figuring whilst I'm trying to learn cooking, I'm going to make use of this so I can get some work orders coming in. Oh, we've got, got a couple there. A couple of um, fighter chow recipes. So what have we got? Crispy bacon. Ah, we got the first first rank of crisp, crispy bacon. Excellent. That's something new. And then fighter chow, we've learnt. And oh, we've got rank two of lavish surma feast. Excellent. There we go. That's very useful. And I think I picked up another Nomi snack. Or did I just imagine that? I might have done. Yes, we did. Let's do that again. Check in on our work orders. I've got fighter chow again. That's fine. I'll get that in the mail and then I'll... Yeah, I'll leave that. I'll get that in the mail later and vendor it. Um, but we got seared battered fish plate. Okay, that's new as well. Excellent. Right, so we've got a few spare things now. Let's have a look at what we could learn. The crispy bacon's a good one. Um, lavish Surma Feast. Ideally, I want to do the things they've got lots of which is like that for the bear tartare, the fatty bear steak. Then we've got, what else? There's, that's quite a good variety from the lay blood. I'm also be quite keen to get the rank three of the Surama feast. Which, could be any of a number of these. I'm going to go with the high mountain salmon, I think, because there's a lot of rank threes potentials there, including the lavish feast. So let's have those going. Right. So let's look at our cooking recipes because we've just learnt some new things which I will need to update my cooking groups with. So under snacks we can now make crispy bacon. But then crispy bacon isn't that useful I hear on its own because it extends the benefit of any well fed by an hour which is useful for someone who's got bear tartare. But then the slice of bacon, I think, is better used in the lavish Surama feast. So I'm not actually going to add crispy bacon into my list of things to make, because I think I'd rather reserve any bacon for the lavish Surama feast. And... What was the other thing we learnt? Let's have a look there, ta ta. How many have we got here? One, two, three, four, five. It's one of those. Light meals, we've got four, five now. So, what did we get extra? Was the spiced rib roast, it looks like. Which does have a currently 77 gold profit. 
So let's add this to the group, light meals, groups, uh, no, light meals, import, export, select that, and then shift click that, and then click OK, press enter. There we go. Clear filters on that. So there we go. We've got spiced rib roast. We don't need to add any of those to the ingredients because we have those. So those will now go into our cooking group so that when we do a restock, if it's enough in profit, then that will come up as a restock. But it's currently not in profit, so we won't be making any of those. So let's head over to... How am I doing for... Oh, I've got one... One quest to pick up on my order hall, so let's go and pick that up whilst we're just nearby. And then we'll head down to Old Dalaran to see if we can find that other cooking daily. And I think there's one in Ironforge as well. I'm not sure how many I can make per day. I think it might just be two of them. Right, pick up those. Head on back to my... What do we have? More blood of cigarettes. We've got six of those. Excellent. Now I've only got 800 resources left, so I need to pick this carefully. Obvious choice is one of these. That's 400 gold. Um, order resources. That's only 100 for that one. So I'm going to do that one. Then some Veiled Argonite's always useful, so I'll take that for 300, and that will be enough for those. Okay, so another lot done. Oh, we've got a healing well there. Can we use that on anyone? That'd be useful. That group of acolytes could probably do with a boost. I could probably save those for the Argus followers, but I don't have the Argus followers. So I'm quite quite happy just to use those up at the moment. Kind of save me on order hall resources. Um, ideally I could do with looking at the map actually, seeing what world quests are up. There might be a bacon somewhere. There's no bacon, but there are a couple of good bloods missions there. Commander a couple of those are worth doing, definitely. And then that one might be worth doing too. I'll come back to those. I'm going to go to Old Dalaran first. Now I believe the way there is through the middle. It's probably, I hear, is the best way. And if I head straight on down, all the way through, and this one at the end, the Wormrest Temple, is apparently one of the closest ones. And then I can fly down from there to Dalaran, I believe. Where are we headed? I'm sure it was down there. I'm sure someone... I saw someone on YouTube doing this. Unless I've missed something off. Hmm. Can't remember where old Dalaran is. Interestingly, off the temple. It's northwest of the temple. Okay, thank you very much. Going completely the wrong direction. It's been so long since I've been here. Thank you for the help. Next zone up. Ah, lovely. Ah, yes, there you go. Crystal Song Forest. Thank you. 
Just goes to show how long it's been since I've been in uh, Northrend. I went south when I should have gone north. Always rely on chat to help me out when I'm going the wrong direction. Thank you. I do have a fondness for Wrath of the Lich King, I must say. It's uh, one of my favourite expansions. Bit of a long flight this. I wonder if there was an easier way. There it is, floating up there. Excuse the draw distance. Yeah, it would have been... Uh, I'm assuming this is where I'm getting my next cooking daily because it is a those um, Epicurean things were I believe a Wrath of the Lich King thing I never did cooking back in the day I was all bandages back then as a priest which is funny Right, I think it's in here, in the same kind of mirror of where Nomi is. Oh, there we go. Right, Catherine Lee, there you are. So, cheese for glower gold. Okay. We're going to go the shop in Dialer and has some craving for wine and cheese. Collect cheese, which is on the shelf. And half a wine glass is found on tables. Combine, combine the empty cheese platter with aged aloe and Limburger. And we get a small spice bag and an Epicurean board. Okay. So, quest it is then. Not going to get any help. What did the quest say? Wine and cheese. Cheese. Combine the empty cement from the cheese shop. Bring the wine and cheese placid. Okay. Rancid cloud gold in the leather worker shop. Collect cheese which is on the shelf at one more glass in central Dalaran. Okay. One more glass. There's one more glass. Set in central. Um, can't see anything here yet. Dreads of fate, curiosities. Lounge, let's have a look. That's all the lounge. What about Hunter's Reach? Where would one more glass be? Okay, can't see it obviously. On the works. Hmm. One more glass. Let's think. Where could this be? This is all mages okay next to the barber shop okay thank you very much um ash thank you again now where's the barber shop i'm thinking 
near the mages. Commerce exchange, it said. It's down there. Barber shop. Let's see. Let's go the old fashioned way. There's no guards to ask, it's going to ask a guard. There you go. Hi, how are you? Um, Barber. It's over there. Okay. One more glass. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ash. That was useful. What do I need here? A cheese platter. Oh, there's loads of cheese here. What cheese did we need? Do we need to buy the cheese? Missing region aged Dalaran Limburger. Aged Dalaran Sharp Wheel. Ah, there we go, look, there it is. And then... Where was that thing that we needed? Combine eight and six half full wine glasses. Okay, so now we need the half full wine glasses. Which they said... were scattered The wine glasses found on tables all over the city. Okay, let's go have a look for some wine glasses. Oh, there's some in here. There's one. And another one, we need six of these. Can't see any other oh, something over there. That's three. Where else will we have a table? Don't have any tables there. No drinking in the barber shop. Let's go to there was another inn type place over here, I think. Not there. Any more tables? Nothing in the violet hold. Can't see any tables here. How about over here? Anyone got any drinks they haven't finished? No, can't see any. Right. Hey, Sephorium. How are you doing this fine evening? I'm just currently scrounging wine glasses. From anywhere we can find them. I'm trying to think where else there would be tables. Where would you have a table? In here, perhaps? There are tables, but none that's going to be useful to us. Do you still have your blood price set to one gold? <laughs> I do, actually. I haven't done to... There's another in the Alliance section. Okay, thank you, Ash. I'll have a look. Oh, I'm just in the Alliance section. Oh, what have we got here? The arsenal absolute. Let's divide hold. Let's go over to the alliance section. Oh, is that one though? Any tables? I 
Can't see anything. There's tables here. Heroes welcome at the top. No, there's some wine glasses here, but nothing taken. You use Saria's uh, value for it. And it shows all your enchants, there's no profit. Ah, interesting. Yes, because I think there's technically better uses for bloods if you factor in that price. Oh, here we go. Brilliant, thank you, Ash. There's one up oh, over here. And there's another one. Hopefully there'll be a third one here somewhere. Ah, over there I think, upstairs. Yeah, buying mats at the vendor and just selling them. Right next to the pig. There we go. They combine that into a platter. And then we can head on over and collect it up. It sets blood price over 500 gold. Wow. Okay. That's interesting to think about. So it may be not as profitable. Who needs it? Oh, you need it. It may not be as profitable to um, to have everything at that. Um, so let's complete this quest. So let's say, for example, let's open up our bag. Hopefully, we might even get a. Oh no, we've got a. We've got up to three now. Epicureans awards, and we also received a recipe for delicious chocolate cake. That's cool. So, say for example, we set our. Let's have a look at our enchanting profits at the moment. What do those um, awards trade in for? So, you can trade them in for some Cataclysm recipes and some Breath of the Lich King res cooking recipes, but what I'm saving up for particularly is the chef's hat so that I can do cooking quick more quickly so that's that's what I'm saving up for at the moment so let's have a look at our enchanting at the moment so if I were to take 500 which takes bloods it's just the cloaks mainly because the cloaks take two bloods each I think I don't have yeah I've got rank three for all of them so effectively I'd be taking a thousand off my profits off of the cloaks so intellect would be still 1400 profit agility would be 500 profit and strength would only be 300 profit according to to that string I mean it's it might be different on mine yes of course using the string for it um, let's have a just quick look up for it blood of Sargeras string There we go, TSM custom price source for out of Sargeras. Copy that. And then we go into our groups, no our groups, our crafting materials. Blood of Sargeras. So if I change this to the string it sets the price at 249 gold. Okay. 
So that's not quite so bad. Setting that to 249. So if I close this down and open it back up, I might take a little while to come through perhaps. Maybe if I close them both down and then open it up. Mm, hasn't come through yet. Let me just double check I set that material correctly. Yes, there it is. So 249. Where was the string I found? Was on Wow Economy Forum. Um, someone said they're using they use the custom price looks slightly different than what you pasted okay reload slash reload for it to take effect okay Ash yeah sometimes sometimes it just takes a while to tick through but um, yeah I get what you mean with the reload um, let's have a look so max first average buy first average buy without knowing what the items are it's put in first average buy so it's all first average buy on all these items and then the last ones times 10 times 5 and then something times three. Not entirely sure. There was also one on average is the price of the items you can buy from the blood trader. Yes, exactly. Um, that's the theory behind it, but without seeing which each of these items are, I can't actually work out whether this formula is correct or not because they're tradable. Exactly, Ash. Yeah, that's, that makes it a much more accurate price of your bloods. Um, so that makes sense. I mean 249 seems like it might be right based off of all of those. There's your one. Um, let's have a look. Reddit. No, clicked on the wrong thing there. Let's click on that again. Yes, that's right. I copied the string right at the top. Yours is just to DB Market. Ah, so that's the one that was modified. But then it's got the Primal Spirit custom price as a template. Some mats are more expensive than others. Change. So the edit was. There was an edit on it to change the average to max. Thanks to Hicken and Gumdrops and formatting. Okay. Why use an average? Um, da, da, da. You'd want max, max, not average, average. Okay. So is mine the edited? I don't know. I mean, I just literally just copied it from the same place. I did a search for the Blood of Sagara string, and that's what I got. So I'm wondering if mine's the must be the edited one because I've just literally gotten it. Hmm. Same place as Sephora got um, his from just then. Yes, um, Shera has stopped posting, but a lot of the stuff is kind of still valid, I believe. And I think someone else is going to be taking it up in the future. Let's just scroll down. Um, Someone else says they prefer to use a minimum buyout. 
There's also someone commented on one of my videos a long time ago um, with the blood's price. Um, where have I got that? Pulled your yours from Shara's pace bin. Okay. Because there's also. Let's have a look. No more. I remember seeing. There was a comment. About the bloods. There we go. Um, so someone else a week ago edited had one uh, fix itself after I did a full scan um, and now someone's doing a lot of Okay. Must be your own one. Imagine the same general idea. Okay. Let's have a look at the pace bin. First section, custom prices. Blood of Sargeras, custom price. Okay. Let's copy that. Home shift and delete paste. Okay. So that price comes out using Shearer's. It's um, three hundred and thirty comes out. So an extra hundred using that one you've just linked to me, Sephorium. So there's a slight variance in it, it would seem. So it's pretty close. Yeah. Let's take the higher one. That's always going to be useful, I think. But there we go. That's handy. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the help. That's um, something to remember anyway. Right. Oh, let's get some mail whilst I'm here. Just happen to be standing by a mailbox. Uh, there's my extra. Uh, what was that? That was the extra. Um, yeah, I was going through and making the enchants last night, and then we re wanted to change that. Yes, that's a good point. I hadn't um, gone back and changed mine. Right. Okay. So we've done the done the cooking daily now. So now let's head to the garrison and pick up. our usual herbs and let's see if Dorothy 2 has turned up. Fingers crossed. And it showed everything red and you're like, yeah, what the heck? Hmm. I imagine you were quite quite shocked at that. Okay. And today's person is Uridin. Not helpful. Let's pick up some resources. Head on my horse. Go straight over to see what work orders we got. I think this one's Nagran Arrow Bloom. I think I have some of this. Let's collect up some of those. Um I'll leave that and then let's go pick up my herbs there we go and um, what else we got arcana is very pricey on your server as well and silk non-existent mmm that is that is tricky that's I've uh, chaos crystals 
Um, I don't know if you saw when I had a look, they've gone up to 350 here. So someone's reset the Chaos Crystal market for me. That's really... Yeah, I'm low pop here Ash, so uh, I don't know what server you're on Sephorium. You're very low pop as well, okay. Interesting how we might have different margins though. But yeah, it was um someone's reset the silk. Silk's at about five fifty I think at the moment. And um yeah, chaos crystals are up at three hundred and fifty, which is just massive. That's gonna be a problem. If I run out of chaos crystals. Hopefully not too soon. Your silk is rarely below 10. Wow, that is expensive. There we go. Bove hex weave. A few other bits and pieces. Start some more work orders. And we're done. I'm so glad you convinced me to do the uh, garrison stuff, Sephorium. It's very useful now. Now that it's all set up properly. Right, let's head back, back to the auction house. There's usually only about 500 on the auction house. Um, yeah, um, I'm having similar with Stonehide. Stonehide leather for me is always really expensive by comparison. Let's go have a look. So we've got, yeah, silk is currently, yeah, well there's one at 525, but everything else is at 650 plus, which is unusual. Sometimes it gets reset, and, but then stone hide is always quite a bit higher at 6.79 but then you look at chaos crystals at the moment and they are super duper oh looks like 123 percent 314 is the cheapest so all up to 399 and when you look at my chaos crystal my average buy price is 203 so it's an extra hundred per chaos crystal which is just like too expensive for me so yeah I've got a feeling I thought the chaos crystals might go down a little bit because people who are getting rid of their old equipment might disenchant it and put it on but no at the moment the demand for the enchant chaos enchant seems to be pushing it higher so what I'm going to do now is just make some braces and see if I can catch some chaos crystals that way and then I could also do some dungeons as well but uh, not enough enchanters yeah profits should increase way more people without enchanting up upgrading gear uh, that's true not everyone will necessarily have gotten enchanting will they right let's make a bunch of braces also waiting. Let's fill up my bags. Not had many sales come in, so I think it's a bit slow tonight. I think I was a bit late in catching. In catching any um, people finishing their raids. Let's do a batch of these just to keep this ticking over because I'm lay lights. I've only got 139 of those. Uh, I think the majority of Chaos Crystals will come from five mans. I assume people were running those. Less people will be running those because of the new raid. Oh, that's true. But you'd still need Enchanted to Disenchant, wouldn't you? And the five mans. But yeah, that's the sort of thing I would do. Need to vendor this recipe. 
now that's that's already known. I wonder if my um, lab, what's the profit on my lavish Suramar feast now? Out of curiosity, it was at minus five hundred. Delicious chocolate cake is 4,000 profit, really? That's what I just picked up. Uh, that looks like it's inflated prices. If you spend at least five seconds eating, you become very happy for an hour. <laughs> Don't think that sells so much. Uh, lavish Surama Feast though, now that I've got the rank two, has gone to minus 297, so it's not quite in profit yet. Okay, that's interesting though. All right, let's disenchant these whilst I'm waiting. You need a multi box team. Yeah, that's a good idea. You could multi box yourself through through the dungeons and pick up a whole. If every one of them is an enchanter. You could pick up a, quite a few Chaos Crystals. Or if you collect the um, the nether shards, or do the order hall missions for like the loads of nether shards, you could pick up some chaos crystals that way. Not enough. No, that's true. That is. You need to spam dungeons. Yeah, I think uh, there's a definite bottleneck, isn't there? I mean, the chance of getting Chaos Crystals during the braces is so slim, really. This isn't a reliable way of getting them either. This is mainly for the Ley Light. Cheap Ley Light. There we go, nearly got everything. Right, okay. I think I'm going to probably call it a night after that. It's quite late here, half one in the morning. And I have to get up at half six, so probably not enough hours sleep. But there we go. Thems is the funds. Um, so we've got cooking daily quests sorted now. So I know I need to go to Dalaran. Thank you, Ashford, for getting me in the right direction for that. And the one in Stormwind I know of. So if I make sure I do those dailies, that's three Epicureans a day. So it shouldn't take me much more than a month to get my 100 for the chef's hat. I should hopefully get a chef's hat for the new year if I keep it up every day, which is, you know, hopeful. A um, few sales. Didn't get back up to a million just yet. 986. So uh, the hat is awesome. Yes, definitely. Let's just do a quick cancel scan on our enchants just to make sure. Everything's okay. Oh yes, look, there we go. A few undercuts. Quite a few undercuts. That would explain it. Let's, before we head off, let's put those back on. Are they still on? They're, they're away, so... Uh, yes, I think I have got competition for my enchants at the moment. There we go. Run through this council scan and hopefully I'll get some sales in the morning when I check before work. Auctioning, start post scan. Undercut, undercut. 
Looks kind of like prices are creeping up there. Hopefully, with any luck, I'll get some sales. Right. Well, thank you everyone for stopping by and your help tonight. Very useful. Thank you, Ash, for your directions. And thanks, Sephorian, for pointing me to the Bloods um, string. I'd forgotten about that myself. So, yeah, definitely. Oh, <laughs> and there we go. We have a sale binding of strength as well. The lovely way to end the evening. So thank you, everyone. I hope you have a lovely evening. Um, have fun with your gold making. And I shall see you next time. Um, hopefully, I'll try and get on again tonight. Not tonight, tomorrow night. Um... But if not, then probably the next couple of nights, I'm sure I'll be on. So look out for me and I shall see you soon. Take care and good night.